disaster. Beacon uh, uh, on nav lights. Pump on. Clear. Pressure's good. Fuel pump off. Oil pressure's good. Right. Oop, that's all we need. We Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo. Radio check. Romeo, you're loud and clear. Altimeter is 3027. 3027, thank you. Okay, so transponders on standby. Hey, we're using 1 1 today. 1 1? Yep. yep. Alright. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, back taxi 1 1. Where's your daughter coming in from? Uh, Tucson. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Kind of an unexpected visit, but excited to see her nonetheless. How long should she be here for? Uh, we're not sure. Okay. Need the break, so she come home, we'll take care of her for a while. Oh, good for you. Okay, anytime you have a question today or anything, it, uh, I know it's been a week or two, but uh, we're glad to have you back and I'm here for you, so whatever you need, let me know. Alrighty. We've had some really nasty weather in between there. Yeah. It's just been, it's been killing us, and in the days that it's good, I mean, the guys, we're just uh, straight out nonstop. Well, I've been watching the weather and thinking, all right, I want to try and jump in, jump in, jump in, and I was like, it was conflicting with my schedule yeah. and everything, and I was like, yeah. Finally, I saw you were available on Friday. I was like, all right, we'll just make that work. Well, I appreciate that. Okay, so. Ground check. Park and brake is set. Okay. The 2000. Watching for the creep. Okay. Okay, good drop on the left. Good drop on the right. Drop on the curb heat. And vacuum is good. Everything looks good. Okay. Fuel selectors, proper tank, electric fuel pump is on. Is are in the green. Temperature still low because it hasn't been run. Okay, magnetos are on both. Primer is locked. Okay, let's get the strobes on. Here on carb heats, rich. Am doing well. Flaps two two. Trip tab. Okay, we're good. Heading in here, we are looking at 20. No, we're not. We're yeah, look at it. Tw you're 20. Yeah, okay. I, 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 mean, the, the other, I was just going the wrong way here. I'm like, yeah, wait a minute. The other 20. <laughs> there you go. 
Perfect. All right. Uh, Timiter, we've already done. Transponder to altitude. Okay, controls are free. clear. Doors, windows locked. Closed and locked and secure. Belts fastened. Yep. Takeoff brief is we are going to short field takeoff. So we're going to set the brake. We're going to run the power up, release the brake. We're going to uh, monitor that we have full RPM. All our gauges are green. Rotate at 60. Uh, abort if we can't get over that by roughly uh, halfway down the, yep. the runway. Uh, we rotate, we, once we get to pattern altitude, or if we lose engine before pattern, or pattern altitude, we look for a field in front of us. If we get to pattern altitude, we have an opportunity to turn back. Yep. You plan every takeoff for an engine failure and every landing for a go around. If right. you plan that, you're going to be fine. Yep. Very good. Hey, impress me with your, with your, your, your flying <laughs> abilities. Is it the only thing that's waiting, waiting for you is just that, uh, that uh, uh, certificate because you're ready to go? Yeah, I mean, we're just, that's... Might take forever, but no, you never know with that FAA. We have the letter from me and letter from the other doctor, just saying, "Hey, look, you know, they may, uh, they may just say, okay, let's go." Great Barrington traffic, seven five two zero Romeo, departing runway one one, staying in the pattern. Break on. All RPMs, gauges are in the green. Eyes at the end of the runway. We got a tiny little bit of wind, but nothing to get excited over. 60. Beautiful, that was a beautiful takeoff. And we are taking the that one power point to exhaust off, and we're going to put a regular exhaust on it because the neighbors are complaining. So oh. they're just saying the the green and the yellow are playing are the most offensive. So we're going to take it take it off here, make it a little quieter. Lose a couple horsepower there too. Ah, uh, yeah, it's only it's, it's you're not going to be a sizable uh, sizable notice. Great Barrington traffic seven five two zero Romeo turning crosswind runway one one. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning downwind, runway 11. RP on, go back to below 2000. Yeah, the only thing you didn't bring the flaps up on. Oh, I didn't. But it's okay. It's, okay. it's no big deal. That's All right. Thing. I it's was no, wondering. About. It's no big deal. Okay. That's why she wasn't picking up much speed yep. when I was climbing. I, was, I yep. thought it felt a little weird, but then when yep. you were mentioning exhaust, I was like, yep. wonder if that has something to do with yep. it. No. Okay. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning base, runway 11. We didn't do no trim. Come on, Mark, pay attention.
couple high, aren't we? Yeah. Right. Great back to traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning final, runway 11. Oh, we got a little fast, a little slow there. Just prepare all the way up, prepare all the way up, all the way up, bring it all the way up, bring it all the way up, bring it all the way up, all the way up, stop. I just let it stabilize and see what happens. All the trim in, and... Yeah, you're actually pretty good. See that second runway line? Looks yeah, like that wind's holding you back. I feel a little bit high, but yeah, that'll your, work. That'll your change. speed is reasonable. See that second runway line? It looks pretty good for right now. Here it comes. Very nice. Second runway line looks yeah. perfect. Okay. Runway. No, don't over control, don't over control. It's an easy flight here. There you go, perfect. There well, go. a little rough there. That's yeah, right. This time here we'll do a soft field takeoff, okay? Okay. Is the grass wet? We're going back up the runway. Uh, we, uh, the grass is dry. So okay. if you want to go up, to, you can go whatever one you want. If you want, to, there's okay. nobody else in the pattern. So if you prefer to go down the runway, you can go down the runway. It's your choice. Great Barrington traffic. Great Barrington traffic. Seven five two zero Romeo. Taxi on the grass. Runway one one. We're what flying up earlier today. Somewhere around the uh, swampy areas, the trees are starting to turn their colors already. Yeah, bird. Yep. They do that. He's in London at Heathrow Airport. They do that all the time. You'll sit there and they'll just sit there and they'll do it there and then they pop the wings and they pop right down. You'll see them just sitting there hovering. Is there anything exciting been happening in your life up there? The sail went through and it's all all done and everything's happy. It's off your off your back. Yep, it's gone and now we uh, signed up to buy uh, something else yesterday. Oh, so good. good. Uh, the gentleman that used to manage that property for me, uh, he they're going to buy a little uh, spot up on Pontusic Lake. That's oh, really? a small lakefront property with two little cottages. We're just going to buy it and Airbnb it. Oh, very nice. Have a place to keep our boats. So. That'd be perfect. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. Your lakefront property is going to do nothing but appreciate. So. Oh, yeah, unless you're out in Arizona, way the lake gets further and further <laughs> away because the uh, there's no water. In them. Yeah, actually, you know what? I, this is weird. When we moved to Arizona, I studied a lot of facts on it. Now back then, this is the early '90s. Arizona owned more boats per capita than any other state. Yeah, and that's just amazing. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, back taxi, runway 11. I used to fly over there all the time and you see all those boats and those big, you know, the, you know, all the uh, reservoirs, the lakes, the, just uh, gorgeous. And I, uh, Dean and I wanted to, I wanted to actually move out there. I wanted, I wanted to buy a, and she goes, no, 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 all right. <laughs> I see pictures and all the boats are lined up, you know, single file and they're just, you know, almost out of water completely. I mean, Arizona's gorgeous for a fair bit of a year, just like around here, and then there's, you know, a few miserable months. Yep, yep. Oh, ah, Carby, god damn. Okay, I, so I got the flaps, I didn't okay. get the curve. So the thing is, when you do come to the end of the runway, just before you taxi, I just go Carby to heat, trim, fuel pump. Okay. All right, I might as well leave that on now, because... Okay, fuel is on proper. Fuel pump is on. The good engine's warming up. All right. Both primer is locked. Strobes are on. Lights are on. Car off. Mixture is rid. Looks good. Flaps to two. Trim tab is set and big indicator twenty. A little wonky. Okay. Ponder's still on altitude. 
controls, free and clear, doors, windows locked. And Okay, the stop you'll take off is you're going to start with the wheel all the way back and yep. then just watch the nose and as it flies off, nice First, and easy. As it lifts up, I'm going to lower my nose to build speed yep. before I climb out. Very good. Yep. Okay. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, departing runway 11, staying in the pattern. We're not going to come to a stop. Nope, that's correct. Okay, we got RPMs, front wheels up, we're in the green, feeling it around 60. Be up. Beautiful, that's beautiful, absolutely perfect, absolutely perfect. Build up a little airspeed. Definitely a little more wind because we've got a little crab going on. Yep, very nice. It does very nice. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning crosswind, runway 1 uh, one, one. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning downwind, runway 11. RP get below 2000 first notch of flaps trim great back to traffic 7520 Romeo turning base runway 11 Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning final, runway 11. Just well, it's still getting a little high here again. Go for the space shuttle approach this time out. Huh? Getting way up here. We are going to be way too high. Okay, so what are you going to do? I am going I to... Mean, you go on, go for power right. first, power first. Right. Power first, okay. Yep. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo. You're going to go around. Okay, there you go. Now, nice and easy again. you got to watch oh, all oh. that. Nose up oh, attitude so oh. you don't go with... Oh. Yep, so... Okay, so when you do every every thing, oh the trim, I left the yep, trim in. Yep, so what happens is on the go around, uh, you're just going to do is first of all is give it power, carburetor to heat, and one notch of flaps, trim it out, get yourself going, and then just continue on the flaps up and do it like that. Okay. Sir, oh. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning crosswind, runway 11. 
got too much airspeed here. I wasn't climbing. Yeah, again, so again, when uh, every takeoff you got to plan on an engine failure, and every go around, every landing you got to plan on a go around. So what happens, even if it's self induced, okay, no big deal, but what happens is this first thing your hands on throttle, first thing power on, okay, carburetor heat off on one notch of flaps, and just fly the airplane out, get the airplane under control, trim it out. Because again, you have it trimmed up for a high, uh, for a low airspeed, 70, uh, 80 miles an hour. And when I give it power out, it should maintain that speed thereabouts, but when I bring the flaps up, that changes the whole shape of the wing. I might have turned my cross when I my base a little early too. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And also you're really close to the airport too, so. One notch of flaps. Great bearing to traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning base, runway 11. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning final, runway 11. Look. Yeah, the trees are just touching the end of the runway, so you're in perfect yep. shape right now, okay? <clears throat> you see, you see now you're starting to get high again because you're letting us end up. You're free to just hold it, nose in, bring the power back, and then just adjust the power first, and then you can, uh, take the out on the speed on the nose. There you go. You're in good shape now. There you go. We do to look at the far end of the front, so you don't just do those little left and right. Even if you see you're off like this, just aim right towards the house. You can see you're heading right down the center of the runway like that. That's fine. Good. You don't have too much rest on you. You're doing actually a pretty good job. Yeah, and you, the, the thing is realizing that you're high and you have to do go around. Perfect. That's that's better than a perfect landing as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Yep. Hey, Great now bearing to traffic. Send 520 Romeo. Clear the runway. Taxi on the grass, 1-1. One, one. Okay, so now if you want to come to a stop, or you can do it on a roll with me. Okay. okay. Car flaps off. Flaps off. Carburetor heat off. Carburetor heat off, and... Frame. You just shut, shut, right shut that bird's doing the same exact thing, the same? Yeah. Right there. And then just fuel pump off, that way we just oh. check to make sure the rear pump is right. working. You want to make sure your mechanical's still going. Yep. Yeah, you used to see in London at the end of the runway, there'd be like 20 or 30 of them just hand, like doing that, and then they just fold the wings up and go right down. They're sitting up there going, look at these fools yeah. thinking they yeah. can fly. That's right. <laughs> they can't do it without without something to help them. We just do it ourselves. I was flying yesterday and I saw two bald eagles. Oh, it was so beautiful. Down over a Lake Pole area and I'm doing a turn and there's two of them side by side. And I was like, oh, it's so pretty. We've been actually pretty busy here, you know, on good days, and then uh, we've been doing, I've been doing ground school, I got uh, a couple of instrument people do the, uh, do the ground, the guy's taking his check ride for a CFI tomorrow. So are you going to have a new CFI here? Uh, no, no, he's oh. up, in, he's, uh, like, I don't know where he's going to be doing, but. Training him for somewhere yep, else? Yep, yep. 
What do you think that takes? Three, four hundred hours typically to get to, or? I know most of the guys uh, 250 for the commercial, and guys go right after the 250. They're, really? That's what if you're young guys, I just told them, I said, you're, this is when you're sharpest on your maneuvers, you know everything, because you just did the private, you did the commercial, you do the instrument, go right for the CFI. If you wait two years, now you're going to learn the procedures all over. Uh, do it and get it over with while you're young, and just, and we're done with I have another guy, Alex is going to be working with another guy. He was in a retired air traffic controller, and he, uh, he, uh, <clears throat> had a CFI and he let it uh, lap, so he's got his check right for another couple weeks. Great bearing to traffic, 7520 Romeo, back taxi, runway 11. Never had the airport all to myself, Rick. Yeah. And that guy's gonna bring that 180 down, I think, the week after next okay. for Jeff to yep. uh, go through for me. Oh, very nice. So, pretty excited about that. 180 is a nice airplane. You yeah. know, right there. How much more of a difference is it gonna be than this? Like, other than more power, but it's gonna handle handling characteristics. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. It's a little smoother because it's it's a it's a, it's like going from a Volkswagen to you know a bigger. You know, a bigger car, so yeah. it, it's it's just just a little bit bigger inside here, and it handles exactly because it's got the short wing. Whole handles exactly like this one. And you'll you'll love it. It's a beautiful flying airplane. Okay, so primer is locked. Curves are on them. Repeats off mixtures. All two trim tabs good. Heading indicator at that time too. Yeah. Um, altimeters good. Transponders on. Two controls are free. All right, doors, windows, locks, lifts, Close seat locks. All right. Okay. Any any type of takeoff you want to do is fine with me. All right. I just will play with those soft fields just okay, a little sure. bit. Yep. They're kind of fun, actually. Yeah. But it's it's a game, as, you know, flying the nose off and keeping it right there, not letting the nose wheel touch or just holding right. it so the nose wheel is just rolling and it flies right off. Right. And the idea is exactly like that. And hold that wheel all the way back like that. Don't let it in at all until you see that nose really come up. Hold that wheel back. Okay. Hey. Front, hold that wheel back. Play at the Full front. RPMs. Put it in the screen. Ride it right on the two, there you go, just like that, right on the two mains, there you go. So let her fly right yeah, off. Up. Hang on now, just lower the nose, get to your best angle, and climb up. Very nice, that's very, very nice. And it's a game to play the, uh, keeping the nose uh, just just uh, above so it's not touching down, and don't let the nose wheel touch back down. Well, I think it's probably good to practice those uh, soft field takeoffs, because that'll make remembering soft field landing should you have yep. to. Yep. Be more natural, I think. Oh, you go up to uh, Kleinkill and I got that nice 4,000 foot uh, grass strip up there. Clean up the plane. Great back to traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning crosswind, runway 11. I don't know what's going on at that house there, that, that, that Dorinda there. She's had like a party last year, last night. There's like 20, 30 cars out today, the same thing. Cars all over the yard. I don't know huh. if they're filming there or what. That's kind of weird. Somebody bought the motel up the road from my house. Some uh, woman who does uh, motel remodels for Discovery. Oh, yeah? So they're filming right up the road from oh, my cool. house, yeah. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning left downwind, runway 11. I was flying late last night and they had all kinds of lights outside, like a big party, and there's cars all lined up all over the driveway, and I see the same thing again today. Having a party and didn't invite you, Rick. Yeah, my I told the person on the phone, I said my invitation must got lost in the mail. All right. 
There's an awful lot of extra altitude out of nowhere. Yeah. RP, pull the RPM. For one flat, trim. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turn your left base, runway 11. This is where you're continuously looking at where you are, the runway, where you want to land, and just seeing what, see what it is so you can make adjustments now so it's not a drastic one. If you have to make them so it's not a drastic one later on down the road. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning final, runway 11. Or on the left? No, I want to go the other way. No, that's, right. that's, that's where you want to do it because the wind's on the left. Yes. Right. Oh, okay. That's what I was thinking, but I had a... Nice and easy, isn't it? But that's where you got to watch out for a cross-control stall. Okay. You're in good shape. See that? See that? Uh, right. get over there, there, but, uh -huh. Hold it right there. Now, now you can just make it direction. Now just hold it off nice and easy. Hold it off, hold it off, pull back, pull back, pull, pull, pull. There you go. Good. You see, so you had to do that, you, you were the correct way when you did the sl uh, slip, you want to slip okay. into them. Because if I slip this way here, that wind's going to get underneath the back side of the airplane, gotcha. and it can push me this way here, I'm slipping into it. Uh, this slip's something I haven't really done a bunch, so... Oh, we'll, do, we'll do a bunch of them, we'll, 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 we'll come in high and do a couple more. And the idea is you, you want to keep the speed like you had that 70 to 70, 70 to 80, because uh, if you're doing it 90, it defeats the purpose, because now when I get out of the slip, I got to bleed off all that speed. And this way here, I just, you know, hold it right there and just keep it coming right on down. You'll see where the airplane is coming down. Okay. That was, that was nice. Yeah, and then you're going to run out of rudder before you run out of elevator, so you can uh, just give it, feed the full rudder in there, and then you fly and your then plane. And then yep. compensate with the aileron to keep it where you want it? Yep. Great back to traffic, 7520 Romeo. Clear the runway, taxi on the grass, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I was second guessing as to which slip to do. So, yep, but yep, you want to? Yep, you... yep. Yeah, if you slip, the wind's here. If I slip this way here, this, if I slip this way here into the wind this here, what happens is the uh, the wind's going to get underneath me and it's going to blow blow me away. Right. So no, I want to be yeah, dive this with, way. dive right, with, right. Yep, dive with, yep, dive with. Like I thought I was right, but then I looked out and saw that aileron up, yep, and I'm yep, like, that's going to yep, lift. Yep, I gotta... yep, yep, exactly. It's not so much important with the small airplanes, and even with your Cherokee 180, it won't it won't be that much of a big deal because um, uh, the low wing it gets uh, the, the wind underneath the wing to lift it up is going to be like hurricane force hurricane force winds. Yeah, it's mostly for the high wings that the, the Pipers, I mean the Cessnas and the J3 uh, Cubs and all those that are very light. And uh, but most of the point, uh, you don't really have to do it. You can do it, but uh, you're going to really enjoy the 180. I love. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just trying to develop the the right habit, you know. If, yep. if I start doing it early on, consistently, yep. then I have the 180 you have. It's got the same push pullers. It got the throttle body. Uh, it's got the throttle body. It's okay, a nice. 1969. Oh, that was the first year they went. Yep, yep, yep. Or the 68 might be the first year they went to yep. that, but. Uh, So I'm trying to remember, looking at the pictures, I, can't, I don't know if it's got a trim on the floor or on the ceiling. That should be... I want to say that should be on the floor. I thought all the, pretty much all the 180s were pretty much on the floor. Great back to traffic, 7520 Romeo, back taxi, runway 11. One, one.
All right, fuel t proper tank fuel pump. It One thing I forgot to take off. Okay. Good. Magnetos are both. Primer is locked. Off fixture looks good. It's two two pimp tabs by where we want it. Here bits okay. There's still where transponders still on out. Rolls are free and clean. doors, windows locked, latch. Let's go. Uh, let's go flying. Clear back to traffic, 7520 Romeo, departing runway 11, staying in the pattern. And we'll come in high uh, to uh, practice slips. Practice slips, yep. Watch, now that I want to intentionally come in high, I'll, I'll screw that up. Okay, full RPMs in the green, running on the mains. Build some speed, stay center line. Up the plane. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning crosswind, runway 11. How long does it take to drive to the Albany Airport from where you live? About 35, 40 minutes? About 45 minutes. Well, that's not too bad. That's a nice little airport up there. I used to fly in there when I was in Bar Harbor and there was a big... I remember having to walk out on the tarmac for yep. every flight. Yep, before they did all the renovation. Traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning left downwind, runway 11. Traffic will with Amphib entering the 45 with a downwind 15 Kingston. Hey, blue and white Amphib, how you doing this, Rick? Hey, Rick, how you doing? I just was up in uh, Maine, Greenville for the seaplane fly and had a great time. Yeah, there was, uh, I used to go there a long time ago, but I just can't get away from that. It's always a great time up there. Yeah, the weather was perfect, too. Good, you have yourself a good day now. Good day. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning base, runway 11. Okay, we're going to stay intentionally a little high. Here comes yeah. the, this, and the, again, what's the practical application is, if I lost an engine and I had to get into a small field like that and the trees were making it blocking it so I lost a lot of space, the idea is you come in so you can get a steeper angle and it, it allows you to, uh, to uh, use more of the runway available because of the uh, trees. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning final runway 11. And you just remember, if you have a, whatever the wind is from that direction, the opposite rudder. So it's, it's, the wind's from the right, so it's going to be left rudder, and then you fly the airplane into the the wind there. Kingston, we're going to have to midfield downwind, 1-5, Kingston. This is nice and high. Yep. All right, so okay. wind's coming this way, so yeah. I want left yeah. rudder. Bring the, bring the right. power back first. Bring the oh, power oh. back. Bring the power back. Okay, okay, okay. 
down on nice and easy, see that? Full rudder, there you go. I Full see the rudder. speed rate at 70, see that? Perfect. I made power all the way up, made power all the way up, made all, all the way up. Way up. Watch it, then they you gotta hold that. Because this is a cross control situation. If you go into a stall right now, you can go into a spin. Say 70 miles an hour, see that? Oh, oh, there's no room to recover from there. See, right there. see that second runway line? Yeah. It appears to be stationary. right there. See? You gotta you got hold that aileron right in there. Hold that aileron right in there. Hold that right, aileron right oh, in there. Oh man, that's hold a it right, Hold it right in there. Hold that aileron right in there. Yeah. See that? See all that stuff there we got? Just keep, just keep it right in there. Keep it right in there. All right. See? I'm just looking outside. Yeah, now I can just recover. See how, see how short you made that landing? Yeah, that was. They're so high, but that was the shortest landing you've made. So that and takes a lot of a uh, lot of work, a lot of what, arm strength. What the, it, it, the thing is also, if you just look outside, just use your peripheral vision, see what the airplane is. It looks stable, okay. If if it's hanging way up there in the nose and your speed's hanging down there, you got to be careful of the cross control stall because that's that's the big thing about that. But I see that I'm coming down nicely, and I just I just I. From way back there, I said, I, that's second runway line, the station, we got this nail, it's going to be right there, and hold it right there to the end, and then, again, if, if you had to land in this field here, you see those trees, there's a certain amount of runway that you can't land on because of the angle, so this way here, you can knife edge it right down to, you know, right. a position where you could use more uh, more runway. Just find out hard to look outside yep. when we're that close to a stall, that's yep. all. Yep. So it's, it's, I'm sure as time goes on and I get more comfortable, uh, it seems like you get more time in the, uh, time slows down yep. or something like, like yep. in the beginning, it seems like everything's frantic, needs yep. to happen like pretty much right away. Yep. And I don't have time to look over there and back over yep. here. But, but that's where your peripheral vision comes in. And I'm just, I was like, there, I didn't have to look at anything. I just saw that the speed was about 70, 75. And I saw that the attitude was perfect, okay? The attitude like that. And I saw I was coming down there. And if I knew the nose came up a little bit, then I'd check my airspeed to make sure it didn't get too low. But again, you can always just lower the nose just a little bit, just just pick up the pick up just a little bit of speed. That was, that was beautiful. So you just, like in this, you just bury that left. Yeah, you, well, you, rudder you, the, yeah, the thing is, you're going to run out of rudder before you run out of ailerons, okay. so you just bury the rudder right in there and you fly the airplane with the ailerons. Okay. And we almost ran out of aileron on that yep, one. There yep. wasn't a whole lot of... Exactly, there, was, there wasn't much to play with. That's the one. That's not that's not necessary, but what it is, I always like to do it just to make sure that I know the engine driven pump is still working. Absolutely. I mean, it's only four things. I mean, yep. it's 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 uh, carb heat flaps trim. Yeah, I just go pump. I just go flaps carburetor heat fuel pump. up that airplane kit too finally so I'm tinkering with that okay great back to traffic 7520 Romeo back taxi runway 11 yeah where'd you get the airplane from uh just north of Syracuse yep uh builder up there that yep. had it That'll take a couple years, I think. It's okay, because I don't need no 200 mile an hour plane right away. That's right. <laughs> you'll, you'll like that, that's a uh, nice little airplane. Figure if I have the two, I have one for the family and then one for just fun. Puts and around, yep. You need, you need your own time. Right, and by the time that, you know, at that point in time, I'll decide which one I'm gonna use yep. the most and yep. I'll most yep. likely get rid of the other, but. All right, so fuel selector, probably still good there on that yep. tank. Uh, pump is on, good. Uh, mag both, primer is locked. Groups are on, landing lights, heat is off, mixture is 
Good laps to two trim tab. Bit okay, so here I'm getting pretty good at lining this thing up at twenty. Yes, you do. <laughs> anyway, right. every all day long has been that way. Try and be consistent. Holes free and clear. Doors, windows, seat belts. Close and we're hot. good. Great back to traffic. Seven five two zero Romeo departing runway one one. Staying in the pattern. Just watch the nose when you do this. Just watch that nose. Hold it back, yeah, hold it back, pull, hold it back, hold it back, hold it back, hold it back, hold it back. It can't go much further, can it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm, just, I'm just riding on that mains right there, see that? Holding right there, riding on the mains. Oh. Now she wants to fly, so now watch this, nice and easy, nice, nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. There you go, and off you go. Yeah, uh, don't be afraid to pull right back there, you'll be, you'll be fine. I always meet a point of resistance where I feel like, uh, yeah, it's gonna come off of my hand yeah, at some point. Yeah. No, no, but that's fine. The ones you do, they're all acceptable for the check ride. I'm just trying to be okay. being a little bit more aggressive, holding that nose off, and then just riding it on the two mains. But that, that was fine. But every every one that you did was uh, passable for the check ride because the nose was kept off. And the idea is, uh, the if you do it too aggressive, what happens is that you can wind up flying. The tail can hit. And it's gonna slam the nose back down because oh, the, yeah, because what happens is it tail it flies like that. The tail hits and then it slams it down because it doesn't have enough flying speed. So that's the fine line that you got to do when you're playing, especially with Cessnas. Great, Barrington, seven five two zero Romeo, turning crosswind for runway one one. Now, how does that work with, like, say, a tail dragger? I mean, uh, uh, for the soft field, a, yeah. tail, a tail dragger, you don't have to worry about it because the, the prop is already off the ground. See, the idea is you're you're doing this on a on a uh, tricycle landing gear uh. to, to protect the prop. A tricycle, you're already sitting in the air like this here, so you don't have to worry about that. Great Barrington, seven five two zero Romeo, turning left downwind, runway one one. And you can't get the nose much more further up than that. Not unless you lose a wheel. Yeah. Now the the uh, the one that you come into trouble with is the short field takeoff because you got to start with the wheel all the way back. So what happens is this one here, you you hold it and you get there your airspeed. What happens? You, you don't want to keep the nose down. You got to keep the nose wheel all the way back until it pops right off. And that can get a little uncomfortable because a gust of wind can grab you and just grab you and throw you up in the air prior to. Uh, you're ready to go flying. Traffic 7520 Romeo, turn left base, runway 4-1. Now if the wind's coming in from the right, should I start a little bit more to the right, typically, if I know that, you know, yep. so I can yep. get... Yeah, slide into it, yeah, right. because what happens if you go stay to the left, what happens is you're going to go there and you're going to stay to the left of the airport, so you can just... Great variance of traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning final, runway 11. Okay, now this time when you do it, I put both the aileron and the rudder at the same time while you're trying to slide down the runway. There you go. Just hold the altitude right Say here. Say not terribly high, yep. but I yeah, can... Just, just hold the altitude right here, just give it a little bit of power, just level off, there you go. This time when you do it, nice and easy, add the rudder and the aileron together so you stay going right down right. the center. I'm going to line up a little bit more over here to start. Yep, yeah, okay. That's good right there, okay, now bring the power all the way off. Now nice, feet it in and nice and easy, nice enough. Push, push that full rudder, there you go. 
that way. Right. Don't like that uh, all yeah, airspeed thing. Yeah, you got lower get, power. Yeah, yes, yeah. You, now you got a good slip. You got to cut. You got some wind on that one there, right. so that one really cocked there. Yeah, but just see it nice and easy. See there, got the full rudder. There, there, now just nice and easy. Hold it right off, 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 hold it. Right off, hold it. There you go. Whoa. Perfect. There's nice. And that's the idea. You, it's not a smooth landing because what happens is you have to get down and you got a high rate descent. Right. Right, but that was fine. So there's going to be some impact. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. But the only way to stop that is just give it just a little blast of power, just put it up. But the idea is you don't care. You're using it because you got to get down for one reason or another. Okay. Like if you're coming in this field here, with those trees here, you wouldn't be able to land until at least halfway down the field. So if I do that slip, I can cut it in half, so I could uh, get an angle that is pretty steep and then uh, third, a third of the way. Great back to traffic. 7520 Romeo has cleared the runway. Taxi on the grass, one way, one one. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of getting comfortable with that uh, that slower speed, to, you yeah. know, closer to stall. Yeah, with, if, if you're doing it by yourself, you want to keep at least 75. Okay. You can do you can do a slip at 80, okay, it, that's fine, but you don't want to get, because if you do get a, a gust of wind catch you and you get a cross-control stall, I wouldn't even be able to fly myself out of it at, at right. below uh, 200 feet, 150 feet, because it's going to go right into it, it's going to go right up and over, and then you're going to in this attitude here, and it's going to be very aggressive, and you're going to have to fly the airplane through, uh, you know, uh, Right out, but you never give up flying. But the thing is, if you have to use a slip, just by all means use it. Just mm -hmm. and what happens is you're doing a, a little bit, um, you know, like kicking the rudder and then making an adjustment. What I do is just do it at the same time, do a rudder and aileron, just okay. keep that right there and just try and keep it set up. And then you can make a small adjustment as necessary. It's uh, not this Sunday, I think. Next Sunday is they have the fly-in down at uh, Simsbury. Uh, it's a car and airplane show. Really? Yeah. Where's uh, Connecticut? It's Simsbury, Connecticut. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's right next to Bradley Airport. It's nice. We used to do that a lot. We used to go uh, uh, rent some spots and uh, do the back page ad for the whole for the whole thing. But, uh, Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, back taxi, runway 11. This, this year I knew that uh, Peggy was going to, Terry was going to be gone, Joe's going to be gone that weekend, and then uh, one of the other instructors has the week. We didn't, we didn't join it this year, but we used to get a lot of Cub people, we'd bring the Cub down there. we put the uh, cardboard with uh, uh, cotton on it to make it look like snow, the skis on it. So we get a lot of people for the ski fall. What they do is they have a military flyover. They can't do an air show, per se, because of the uh, distance. But they do the military flies a C-5 over, and then they also do a couple of and they have the uh, AP-10 demonstration. And then they have uh, the uh, remote control people from Bradley Airport do a remote control air show, and it's pretty neat. Pump is on. Good. Magnetos are both. Mirrors locked. Okay. On, landing lights on, off, mixtures rich, air looks good, flaps, all we do, uh, trim, good, heading indicator, held my 20 again, altimeters, okay, transponders on altitude, controls are free and clear. Doors, windows locked. Let's see close and much. Now again, uh, anytime you're flying along and the door pops open at the last second, as you're, it's going to happen go. when you rotate. Just let it go because what happens when the pressure changes outside? That's when it's going to pop. It makes noise, but just let it go. If you had a handle, you can do that. You can do it, but don't try and do it until you get up to safe altitude. Right. Yep. Right. Or just circle around, yep. come back, come land, back and, and land, yep. fix it. Exactly. Exactly. 
Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, departing runway 11, staying in the pattern. Just watch the nose. There you go, just like that. A little bit of right rudder because of the torque. There you go, see how that nose wheel is just right in the yep. edge of it. There you go, yep. once it's airborne, just there you go. There you go, not just lower the nose, lower the nose, lower the nose, lower the nose, lower the nose. There you go, just like nice and easy. Like that. There's my angle. I can climb out of my best angle and go to my best rate. Very nice. But you can feel that nose wheel on there. Yeah. Just, you know, it's hanging out. But the idea is you're protecting the nose and the prop is what you're doing. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning crosswind, runway 11. Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning left downwind, runway 11. Great back to traffic, 7520 Romeo turning left base, runway 11. I did not grab a first notch collapse, we should be good now. Yep. Trimmed, I did not flap. Great bearing to traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning final, runway 11. Okay, hey, just hold the altitude here. This is time I want to show you how nice and easy slow it in. Just put the nice and easy with the, uh, give it a little bit more power. A little bit more power. Dude. Right off there. Easy. Watch this with the rudder. Nice and easy. See it? Slipping it right nice and easy. Okay. There's my 65 to 70. There it is right there. I just, I'm just staring at that second runway line. See? I see the attitude of the airplane is good. The nose is down. See it's coming down now. Flying the airplane with the aileron. Okay, holding it right there. Full rudder. 70 miles an hour. Just flying the airplane with the nose. So you can see the nose coming up. You see, it? see how that nice attitude you got there? Hold it right yeah. there. Okay, you got, you got to hold that aileron in there. Right rudder. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Gonna steer it with the aileron. Off. Go. 
Yeah, but I, what I did, I didn't shove the rudder and I just bent right. it nice and easy. And then I just look at the second run of my hand, I can see my peripheral vision. I can see the nose coming down here and then I can see the speed out of the corner of my eye and just flying it down like that. Very nice. Yeah, I, I'll slowly get comfortable with that yep, 70 yep, mile an yep, hour mark. Yep, yep, yep. Well, you're not, you're not supposed to because you're at this point here. So that's why you do it. And then the reason why we do teach you those is because if you lost the engine, you had to go into that field there, and there's trees like this all around, there's a certain amount of field that you're not going to be able to use, right. probably because of the, the angle of the uh, descent. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, clear the runway, taxi on the grass, 1-1. One, one. It's coming up my favorite time of the year, September, October. My, I love the I love the fall. Yeah, I kind of enjoy it. Other than the fact that I know winter's coming next. Yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> let's look at it this way. It's one day closer to springtime. You gotta be optimistic. <laughs> you gotta be optimistic about this winter <laughs> stuff. Today is one day closer to springtime. All right, I can work with that. I, I don't mind the winter. I, I mean, I, I enjoy it. It's you know. It doesn't bother me most days, but like Dude. during the heavy storms, the snow removal becomes like yeah. just it just it. I don't want to say depressing. I really don't get depressed, but I just get I get angry over yeah, I get, it. Get you know? annoyed. It's get a lot annoyed. of work. Uh, same here. You know, I love the winter, but you know, when we got to plow, we've lost a full day of flying because by the time we plow the runway, get everything all done, a full day is gone because I mean, right. you get especially you get like a foot foot of snow on this runway here. You got to clear that whole foot, you know, and that's 50 feet wide and uh, 2,500 feet long of a foot of snow. Where do you put it? So now you got to put it on the right. sides, but then you got to blow it, and it just takes, you know, just chip away at it. So then you got the ramp area. Do you, do you use a plow, or do you have a big loader? Or uh, we have uh, we have a uh, snow plow. We have the big plows, and then uh, we make rows, and then the snow blowers come in and okay. do it. We have a guy uh, down in Connecticut, uh, his friend of mine, he just bought one from Kennedy Airport. It's got the big plow, the brush, and the heater unit. So he uh, he bought it just for the hydraulics on the machine. He said, I'm going to leave it up here for the winter. I'm not going to use it until springtime. And he said, I wonder if you do. And then the, the plow itself is like 50 feet wide. So we're talking we're talking one swipe, one swoop. One swipe down the runway to one direction. And then it's got the, the room behind it that sweeps up all the other stuff. And then it's got the heater that melts the snow behind it. And it's just like, holy Christ. And he, and he bought it at auction, and nobody else bid on it. And he picked it up for like thirteen thousand dollars. Wow! Great Barrington traffic, seven five two zero Romeo back taxi runway one one. But he's, he bought it for the uh, sand and gravel pit because he's got this. It's like you know, a tons of hydraulic uh, outlets on it for all this stuff here. So he can hook it up, and he can all his machines are hydraulic. So he can hook all the hydraulic stuff up to it and just run it portable, move it as they move the stuff. It's pretty amazing. With the guy's pretty sharp. All right, we're pretty much getting a straight headwind now yep. on one one. Yep. What is all this right over here? These little. Oh, uh, that that's uh, Dan and Claudia. They uh, they uh, used to rebuild the antique uh, old cars like uh, uh, okay. uh, Jaguars, Aston Martins, and stuff. And those are hangar uh, garages that he used. And that was his shop right there. But the nice. two, uh, if you go to just outside uh, before you. Uh, get out uh, uh, of Great Brand. You go over the bridge and bit a second left where you go to the, go to Butternut. You take a left. This is Danny Bell Shapiro uh, Auto. That's his place now. Fuel selector, proper tank. Okay, yep. there, fuel there. pump is on. Engine gauge is good. Magnetos are both locked. Strobes are on. Landing. Carb heat is off. Mixture is rich. Looks fine. Do trim out there. Heading indicator. Oh, I missed my twenty a little bit. All right. Uh, good. Still good. Controls free and clear. Doors, windows locked, latch, seat. Yep, off we go. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, departing runway 11, staying in the pattern.
I just fly that and I'll just hold the wheel all the way back. Hold it all the way back. Pull it right back. Hold it back. You're right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. There you go. There you go. Feel that there. There she is. She's getting ready to fly. There you go. Now just lower the nose, 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 lower the nose. There you go. Just that's perfect, right like that. There you go. Yeah, you got off and you just accelerated. Now you get there. Now you get your flying speed and off you go. That was very nice that time, very nice. And you can just see, it's a game where you fly the airplane, you just have to watch the uh, the cowling on the horizon there, and you go see, you'll feel you'll feel that nose wheel. If you go a little bit of rudder, you feel a little bit of pressure on it, you know that the nose wheel is just riding on top and it's doing fine. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning left crosswind, runway 11. Thank you, traffic of Blue Eyes, Cessna Skyline. We are on an RMF instrument approach for runway 17 Sky Acres. And we are 10 miles uh, to the north. Five, uh, this is the Cessna Skyline on our map 170 foot high. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning left downwind, runway 11. We're going to get blown out a little bit more probably because yep. of the yep the wind. That's why your your uh, the slips are working so well now because you got a direct headwind on that uh, right. slip. Gray Barrington traffic seven five two zero Romeo turning left base runway one one. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning final, runway 11. One, one. I do this one right, Rick. Right, yeah, do it. Right. 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 7560 NTV, 6 miles to the north, on an RMAV 170 instrument approach. Right. Yeah, when you, when, I'll tell you when they're just there. You do it nice and easy, feed the rudder in, and then put the air in there, just like that, nice and easy, continuously put the rudder in there, there, and see how that works there, and a little bit more left rudder, because see, there you go, put that rudder all the way to the floor, all the way to the floor, there you go, perfect, see that? Beautiful, see that? Now you're fine, that's a beautiful stall, a slip right there, see that? Look at that. No, don't say beautiful stall. No, no, beautiful <laughs> slip, see? That, that's keeping those down, keep the nose down, nose down, nose down, there you go, just like that, see that? Beautiful, power all the way off, there you go. And I can just make it normal. You gotta straighten it out with the rudder. Straighten it up. Straight rudder, right rudder, right rudder. There you go. Good. You see, that was a very nice intro into that. You did a really nice job getting into the slip. Very easy. But okay. don't be afraid to use more rudder because what happens is you, you're only using about half the rudder because again, okay. you're gonna run out of rudder before you run out of aileron. But again, the rudder is based on how much slip do I need. The steeper the slip, the more the rudder I have. The, if I don't need it, I'm only a little bit high. And again, you can use these all the time when you come in for a landing. If you're like, I'm getting a little high, <clears throat> and you got passing on board, okay, you know, don't wait until it's a drastic slip. And just, you do a little bit of forward slip way out there and just right. it looks good. Great bearing to traffic, 7520 Romeo. Clear the runway. Taxi on the grass, 1-1. 
flaps. Get ready. Uh, And we don't really have a crosswind, yep, but I yep, still want to yep, die. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, you see that the uh, there's no the, the grass isn't moving at all, so technically there's no real. All right, so in that case, you would want to keep your yeah, just keep a neutral it's elevator a, neutral yep, or, yep. or up so that yep. stones don't jump. Yep, right? yep. This is all part of fine. When you go for your check ride, they, they, they're not going to say, well, how do we put the winds? They expect you just to put it in without even telling them, okay? And you can just say, I got a tailwind, I'm diving with it. You know, up when the aileron is down, down when the aileron is up, looks good. This way here, you just they, they get an idea, you know what you're saying there, know what you're doing. Well, why do you do it that way? I don't know, I was told to do it. I was told to dive with the wind. Why? I don't know, you just told me to dive with the wind. A little bit of a hawk there. See like less airplanes out there, Rick. People saw them because the market's hot. I uh, know. Uh, there is uh, one airplane is down for radio, complete radio work. Uh, this one here went away for two weeks. Uh, the the commander's over there, and uh, we did sell two airplanes. Two airplanes are gone. Really? Yep. Yep. What'd you sell? <clears throat> they sold the uh, 235 that was on the front line, and that went to um, okay. uh, South Albany. Uh, I was I was actually trying to help sell that one. There was people asking online, yeah. and I was like, "Well, I know there's a 235, and I don't want anything that big." So yeah, yep. Yeah. Go back to traffic seven five two zero Romeo back taxi runway one one. Yeah, because I think uh, Joe originally told me that one was for sale when I started flying. Yeah. And I was like, "Well, I don't know. <laughs> that that might be a bit much for a first they, plane." They got the they got their full price. I mean, even Rolf sold his decathlon. We lost a, a decathlon when that hangar there, Cooper decathlon, and he wanted 125, and he said 125, and it was sold within five hours. That's the thing is, um, I've been having, I mean, I've looked at a number of planes, talked to people, and the fact is, people won't wait for a pre-buy right now. Yep, like yep. the sellers won't wait to let yep. you get a pre-buy right now yep. because there's too many people saying, "I'll just yep. take it." Yep. Without, and I was like, "Well, I'm not that stupid." Yeah. I'm just not gonna. Yeah. So we lost the two third, the two of the two thirty, because there's the one on the front line that the Beaujeans had, and they had the other one, three seven whiskey, the other one that the real nasty paint job mm -hmm. that went down to uh, Pennsylvania uh, the other day. So. The those are the two, but the, he's buying. Uh, the, he, there was a group of three, so he's doing that. And he's and he's buying a, a an Archer or a Cherokee 180 himself. So okay, he'll be back on the field. Okay, most flying. So, but he just couldn't do the uh, the uh, the uh, flying the flying club airplane. He was the only one flying it. Trip tabs good. Two. Okay, altimeter looks good. still altitude. Controls are free and clear. Doors, windows locked, last Close seat that belts. Great back to traffic 7520 Romeo, departing runway 11, staying in the pattern. Once you pull all the way back, you actually can pull up a little bit yep, more, right? Yep, yep. That's what that is. Yeah, so. just hold it right there. Just hold that. This is hold it right there. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Hold it right back there. Hold it right back. You'll feel that nose coming. Hold it right back. Hold it right back. There you go. Right. There you go. There you go. Now just lower the nose. Lower the nose. There you go. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. And you'll fine tune that with the with the uh, and it had a little bit of uh, rudder in there. That's why it, and aileron. That's why it uh, sort of like went to the right because you had a little bit of right aileron there because you didn't have enough rudder. <coughs> But it was the nose going to the left a little bit, and you compensated by putting the aileron in there. That's just kind of a natural thing with, yep, yep. The, like a steering wheel type of but, thing. But that right? was a that was a perfectly acceptable uh, soft field takeoff. Trust me.
Bay Bearing to traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning left crosswind, runway 11. Great back to traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning left downwind, runway 11. How old's your daughter? What's up? How old is your daughter? 22. Oh, All right. nice. Yep, still my baby girl though. <laughs> Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning left base, runway 11. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning final, runway 11. Oh, very nice, there you go. Very, very nice there. See, so your speed's perfect. 75 is perfect, coming down nicely, and then you're staying with the rudder, and this is a perfect one right there. Perfect. Nice and easy. I just look at the nose. As long as I see that nose down like that, I know I'm not going to stall the airplane. I know I'm not going to stall the airplane. Okay, power all the way off. Okay, okay. Very nice. Go around, go around, go around. Go around. Then I no, no. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, what? No, what happened? Okay. What happened was is you when I just surprised you on to go around? Yeah. What happened is you did you just didn't fly the airplane. You just need to okay, go around, right. just give it full power and just fly the airplane up like uh. this here. Okay, I got everything going good, and then you did everything right, but you're just like, oh, well, 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 you know, so, so, because that's what happens if you go to a tower, a tower just goes, hey, go around, you, you don't have time to ask or question, you just say, say, hey, uh, 750, uh, go around, and you did the idea, just give it full power, fly the airplane, and out. it was just a surprise, just to let you know, because yep, I told no, you. I, and I bottled it because I was going down one notch, but I went past it, and I, that was the well. That's the thing is you, the you, 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 you did the flaps too soon. So what happens? I need to just give it full power, fly the airplane out. Wait till you get to you know 100 feet in the air. You know, and you did is because sometimes the only thing that could keep you in the flying in the air would be the extra flaps. Okay. Okay. Well, that's why I was worried about going for two instead yep, of yep, one yep, by yep, accident. Yep. Yep. Great bearing to traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning left downwind, runway 11.
it, and if you're by yourself, don't be afraid to practice a go around. Just wait okay. there, just say, do this, do this, and say, okay, I, I got it made, but okay, I just want to practice go around. And just systematic, that's how you get good. Don't wait until it surprises you at the last minute. So it's just, okay, go around. All they do is give it full power, carburetor heat off, and fly the airplane first. Okay, looks good. Okay, I'm going good. Now I can take off one, not two. It's just, it's a deliberate thing. It's nothing has to be doing, maybe. Right. Just take your time and enjoy it. Great bearing to traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning final, runway 11. Beautiful. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, clear the runway, taxi on the grass, 1-1. One, one. Feeling comfortable? Yeah. Yeah, all these landings are, you know, you'd be fine by yourself, you know, just that little piece of paper. You're, you're, you know, you're, you're, you know, the day you get this, the paper, you're going to go by yourself because, <laughs> I mean, just, you're just, you're, you're, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. The idea is, you know, if you see it on final, you're doing this a little bit, just stop there, because like today that might be a little pilot induced. Just hold the wheel steady and just see what happens, okay? okay. Now, let's say, say, say I'm going to hit like this way, it's no big deal, okay? So then I look at the far end of the taxiway, see this? I just nice and easy for flying myself, because a lot of times some people do, they start doing this here, they sort of like, they go this way here, right. and then they start chasing it. So okay, look at the far end of the runway, see that? That's all I'm doing right there. Right. Stabilize it. I'm safe, okay? And then we had somebody here last week that went off the side of the runway, a little wind there, and then uh, they uh, said, uh, like, he goes, you told me that as long as they, everything was fine, you know, gonna, I, I tell everybody, I said, look, if you go off the side of the runway, half on, half off, don't worry about it. It's safe. You're, you're going straight. You right. don't see nothing. You're not hitting anything. Don't make any rash moves just to, because uh, I'm watching her, and I, and I see that that's like, well, I think she went off the runway. And, uh, but she went straight. She didn't chase it. Right. And then I get out, how you doing? She goes, oh, I've seen better. And I said, uh, she goes, but I listened to you. I said, I could hear you in my voice, your voice in my head. And all I, you know, she said, all I heard was, everything's okay. I'm going straight. There's nothing I'm going to hit. And then she came right. to a stop and she went back on the runway. Because what happens is if you start chasing it, they get that little lip there. So right. that lip can go there and then you can start right. really doing it. But then, but right. she, but she, too, especially if there's any sort of a crosswind, yeah. at any point in time you turn, you can get a wing up. Maybe. That's exactly. And then they just, she just, she was very nice about it. She just said, look, and, and she, I said, you're fine. He goes, yeah, I'm fine. And I went up there and we did a couple more takeoff landings. She did a beautiful job. <laughs> But she said, you, you told me that one time that if I go off to the side of the runway and everything, I'm going straight, everything appears to be fine, just let it go straight out and then right. take your time and then make your correct, corrections at that point. Yeah, I mean, I figure, you know, you always want to be right down the middle of the runway, yep, yep. but that's what you shoot for, but yep, yep. it's a certain width yep. for a reason. Yep, yep. It gives you some some yep. room to play. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, crossing runway 11. And we'll just park it next to... Uh, Hey, Joe, do you want this at the gas pumps or do you want it next to Piper Juliet? Next to Piper Juliet, please. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right there. Who's the 3 3 uniform? 
Alex and Summer. Okay. What is 55 five Juliet? What? Uh, that's a that's a two thirty five. Okay, it is. Yeah, it's a Dakota. Uh, high performance. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's got the two hundred thirty five horsepower. We use that for instrument training. It's got the got the dual WAS on it and everything else. Okay, so. So retracted, fuel pump off, throttle. Thousand lots against it. Off, avionics master. Off, transponder. Bye. 